Hello folks. If you watched my last video, you know I talked about the uh, Spectrum dongle, and this is to bind Spectrum transmitters right to this uh, eight-channel dongle, which plugs right into your computer so you can use simulator. I have been driving the simulator by using the left stick for steering and throttle, and then just using the switch fifth channel for brakes. And uh, that seemed to work pretty good because I'm fairly used to flying my helicopters, you know, with a left stick and also steering airplanes on the ground with a left stick, so that works pretty good. So I bought this uh, FlySky setup, which comes with an actual dongle that uh, plugs into this cable, and you can plug this into either one of these connectors and plug them into your transmitter and run a wired transmitter like this here you would plug that into the back here and this would be the one to plug in there and you plug this in and this end into your computer that would all work with the wire so you had to connect the computer with the wire this whole setup only cost 10 bucks so pretty good deal in order for it to work with wirelessly you need the sim stick and uh, the way that works is you just plug this into here and this into here and your receiver into here and uh, you can set it up. I'll show you here in a second. Now I've looked online and there's uh, not a whole lot of instructions for how to do this but this is how it looks when you have that hooked up and this is what you do to make your unit wirelessly. Now you can either plug in this into here and this would give you, you can hook this up to any receiver or you can take your receiver and actually plug it in like this and that will give you your receiver on there. There's your whole unit for wirelessly. This is a spectrum receiver right here. Well, I'm not crazy about this thing blinks all the time when it's plugged in. I'm going to put a piece of black electrical tape over that and get that to stop. Okay, this transmitter actually has a place to plug your uh, DSC and your dongle in, so if you don't happen to have a SIM stick and you want to just use the radio wired, you can do it like this. When I originally got the American Truck Driving Simulator, I bought these steering wheels. Neither one of them worked very well. This one, you have to turn it like a whole bunch of inches before it'll actually go. It's not very precise no matter how much I try to program it or set it up in the program and this one doesn't work at all even though it's cool so I decided to use one of these regular radio control car transmitters and see if I can't get that set up and I'm gonna plug it into the sim stick and see if I can do it wirelessly so here we go I got this radio to run my American Truck Driver Simulator because the steering wheels uh, to run it are very expensive and uh, this thing is only 36 bucks so uh, you can't go wrong with that. Okay, this is really a nice radio, this Fly Sky, totally programmable, everything you want to do, three channel and uh, nice easy grip and uh, 2.4 gigahertz. I really like it a lot and uh, you can see it programs nice and easy. Let's take a look at how this works. Okay, this is real easy. Here's the whole setup and here's the receiver that came with this Fly Sky uh, radio which is just quite an amazing unit. Okay, first of all you just want to plug this into your USB like this and uh, you can see this is running and not bound until I turn on the radio radios on everything is bound we're all set to go Well, here within the program, you can actually set up your controller, the keyboard to run all the functions, etc. I've set the transmitter to run the steering, throttle, and brakes, as you can see here. Steering. 
throttle. And brake. If you hit the brakes, it'll stop. If you hit it again, it's going to drive in reverse. Okay, let's drive. The simulator is like a real truck driving, and you can ask Scott about that for sure, my friend who drives a truck professionally. What you do is you pick the job, the kind of truck you want to drive, where you want to go. It tells how much you're getting paid for each job, the mileage, and what it costs usually to make that run. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this job right here, and it has a Volvo in it, and Scott drives a Volvo, and as you can see over here on the left, there's my route. It's from Bakersfield to uh, Sacramento. So I'm going to go ahead and take the job. I click that right here. And now we're going to get set up and drive. Well, darn, it looks like it's raining. So uh, you never know when it's going to start raining. And it's kind of neat. There's a little lightning thunder. Um, the little mirrors on the left and right, I can turn those on or off. I can look out my regular mirrors. I mean, there's just pretty much anything you want to do. I can turn the GPS on or off. This on the right shows the route that I'm going to be driving. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and start the engine up. And uh, let's get this thing started and we'll see how far we can get without crashing. <laughs> Turn the wipers on. Okay, what I really like about it is I can adjust the steering half rate by uh, pushing this button right here. So if I have to make any really sharp turns, I can really jump it back up. For, av for average driving, I like it at about 40%. It's good steering on the road here. And uh, other than that,
So before I reach my destination, I want to show you something else. I thought I'd like to try this. I removed the steering wheel from the other setup that didn't work and added it to this FlySky transmitter. It was easy. Three holes drilled and three zip ties can easily be removed too. Then I mounted in a drill press vise and it really made a big difference. Real easy to drive now with the steering wheel on here. So if I want to adjust the steering to be more, see I can move the steering wheel a lot and nothing really happens here. So this is great for out cruising, but if you're going to get off the freeway, you might want to turn it up. All I have to do is click this switch and turn it up and I get a lot more sensitive steering. So and if I turn the cruise on right now, get to see, at the cruise control, I can drive along holding the cruise, relax a little bit. I can drive it like this, like a regular truck. But I kind of like to do it this way. This is a little simpler. I can steer good, as you can see. Really cool. And I can use my left hand to control the controls over here, the views. And it has far less tension on the wheel. It's like power steering. I also can just hold it in my lap and just drive it like this. Piece of cake. It's just great. You can also lay it down and drive it like this. Ah, well I'm finally here with my load. I've actually been driving quite a while, but I've shortened the video up, obviously. Thanks a lot for riding along with me on several highways, day, night, rain, different trucks. My opinion is the FlySky controller is really cheaper than a wheel, and it works great. It takes a little bit of practice to use, but it's better than steering with the mouse or arrows on the keyboard. And although truckers probably don't want to drive this simulator because they do this all day long, those who may think about becoming a trucker might actually like this. The sim is on steampower.com and uh, thanks again folks and we'll see you next time. 10-9, 10-4, this is the Night Flyer over and out.